I want to work a variety of problems here that involve similar expressions, but each problem has a different instruction. Let's take a look at our first one. Our first problem here, we want to solve the equation 8x minus 5 equals 0. Okay, no problem. I'll add 5 to each side using the addition property of equality. 8x is equal to 5. Then I'll divide both sides by 8 or multiply both sides by 1 8th. Either way, either way I look at it, I end up with x is equal to 5 eighths. So there's a linear equation in one variable, and I solve that equation to get my solution. Next problem, I want to add 8x minus 5 and 2x minus 3. So this isn't an equation, this is just two expressions, and I want to find their sum. All right, so 8x plus 2x is going to be 10x. Negative 5 plus negative 3, negative 8. So there is the sum of these two expressions right here. Next problem, solve 8x minus 5 equal 2x minus 3. All right, so I have a linear equation in one variable. I'll collect all the variable terms on one side, all the constant terms on the other. I'll use my addition property of equality and my multiplication property of equality. Adding negative 2x to both sides, I get 6x on the left side, and I'll add positive 5 to both sides and get 2 on the right side. Multiply both sides by 1 sixth, and I end up with x equal 2 over 6, which is 1 third. So there's my solution to that equation. Next, let's multiply 8x minus 5 and 2x minus 3. Okay, here I have the product now of these two expressions. So I'll multiply 8x times 2x is going to be 16x squared. I'll multiply the last two terms, negative 5 times negative 3, positive 15. That's the easy part. I multiply the two inside terms and I get negative 10x. Multiply the two outside terms, negative 24x. So negative 10x plus negative 24x will be negative 34x. So there's the product of these two binomials right here. So I'm paying attention to the instructions with these problems. I don't know what to do with these expressions unless I'm told by these instructions right here. So Last problem, solve 16x squared minus 34x plus 15 equals 0. Okay, it's quadratic in x squared, so I'm going to try to solve it by factoring. Does it factor? Well, sure it does, because look at these two binomials I multiplied right here. They multiplied to give me 16x squared minus 34x plus 15. That means that this expression factors into this product. So I'll use my results from part D here to just write this as. 8x minus 5 times 2x minus 3 equals 0. Now I'll use my multiplication property of equality. Oh, I'll take that back. I'll use my zero factor property to set each of these factors equal to 0. Because the only way I can multiply two expressions and get 0 is if one or the other or both are 0. In any of those cases, I get a solution to my equation. So 8x minus 5 equals 0, or 2x minus 3 equals 0. 8x minus 5 equals 0. Well, I solved that right here. That's x equal 5 eighths. So let's put that over here. x equal 5 over 8. Or 2x minus 3 equals 0. I'll add 3 to both sides, divide by 2, or multiply by 1 half either way, and I get x is equal to positive 3 halves. There's my other solution. So two solutions to this quadratic equation right here. So the point of these problems is this. You want to get used to paying attention to the instructions that go with the problem. I see a lot of people in my classes that end up being able to solve equations like this very easily on their homework because on their homework all the problems are like this. They're all solved. They can do problems like this because when they're doing them on their homework they're all add this and this. But when they get on a test and the problems are all mixed up and have different instructions, sometimes they get confused. So problems like this are really good practice at paying attention to the instructions and looking at the kind of problem that goes with those instructions so when you're on a test or a quiz, your confusion doesn't happen then.